Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm working on a bunch of C-3PO parts right now, and I was looking at these 3D printed arm pistons that I've made, and they work pretty well. I haven't had any problems with them so far, but the quality is, eh, that's okay. I mean, I could clean them up and make them super nice, but it's a lot of work. And now that we have the Form 2 printer over here, I decided to reprint these parts on the Form 2, and they come out like this, basically all done. Let me turn this light here so we can see a little better. They come out, oh, sorry. <laughs> they come out, you know, basically like a finished part. Right off the printer, that's the quality. It's really nice. Whereas this one, you can see it's got some lines and some grossness, and then this is right off the printer. Really nice. And I was happy, but then I thought about it, and I have the same concerns with this part as I do with this part, which are these tabs where the thing connects to the actual arm. Um, they haven't broken on me yet, obviously, but it concerns me that they would break. Um, under the normal, you know, this kind of movement, they're fine, but if I'm ever doing an event and a, some kid comes up and grabs onto him or I hit him against a wall, I'm pretty sure one of these little tabs is gonna break. So what I decided to do is print another one on the Form 2. This is in clear resin, but it's basically, um, I took the same file that I used to make this and obviously the the end pieces here too, the end pieces on the table over there. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not prepared. Um, but I printed it's the same part but printed in clear resin. And what I've done is I printed, uh, I reoriented the, the end tab here and I printed a wall, which you can see it's clear, but it's a half millimeter thick. Actually, it's a quarter of a millimeter thick wall. See, it's really bendy and flexible. It's actually very fragile. Um, a, a half millimeter thick, no, sorry, quarter millimeter thick wall with keys on it, which will be the mold wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off all the supports and then there's a base right here, a little tiny, thin, thin, paper thin wall. Um, and then the piston, which is all assembled. You can see I printed everything together and this isn't printed in a way where it will slide. This is, I combined everything as one piece. So there are no holes or undercuts that I have to worry about. And what I'm gonna do is I will glue this base part down to my board and do a, a dump mold where you pour the silicone right over the top. You basically make a little box around it, fill it with silicone, and then this part will uh, be the mold. So that will be the, the wall that separates the mold where the mold will open up so that I don't have to clay up the part, which is gonna save me a lot of time and hassle. And um, it ensures that the actual uh, seam line is just on the very bottom where nobody will ever see it. And it'll have this very clean piston. Now the plan is that I'm gonna go buy a metal rod the same size as this rod. I'll cut it to length, the proper length that'll fit in here. And I'll also buy a metal tube that will fit in this section. And I'll basically piece everything together and sink this down into the mold and pour the resin in. And the resin will make it look just like the C-3PO part, but the internal framework will all be metal. And for these, the little tabs here and here, I'll also have metal inserts. So everything that's actually functioning will be made of metal and be very, very sturdy, kind of like how I did the hand pistons or the, um, the arm piston back here where it's got a, an armature inside. Uh, I'm doing the same thing with, the, with these arm pistons. And uh, I think it's gonna greatly improve the strength, but it'll still have the accuracy of these guys, which which will be really nice because all of the other arm pistons that people make are the wrong sizes. Now, it's just they have to because the suits aren't made correctly, but this is the proper size and it'll function the right way, but it won't be terribly expensive to make because it'll be mostly resin with, uh, like I said, some little metal inserts in here. So um, just figured I'd show you this. I am going to get to molding this probably tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. And I should have my first copies by tomorrow afternoon. So I'll try to get some video of that and show you how they work and um, basically how I've set them up. And it should be good. So anyway, just a first look at what my plan is. I basically built all the mold components into the print and printed it. So basically all I have to do is build the box, pour the silicone, and my mold will be ready to go. Um, so there it is. But I'll be back soon. I'll give you an update on how this came out. And I have the, um, this is the front arm piston. It goes here and I have the back arm piston as well. And um, I will have them both 
molded by tomorrow. So see you guys soon with an update. I probably just said that three times. It's okay. See you guys in a bit. Bye.